I came from a very conventional um, uh, scientific background. I have a PhD in biochemistry um, and uh, I came across homeopathy and was intrigued to find out more. Um, and that led to, to, to question what might uh, produce the homeopathic effects that are seen. Um, for some years I'd been thinking how was it possible to, to look at potencies in solution because that's the real stumbling block in, in homeopathy is understanding what, what the potencies are. And I had an idea that it'd be possible to look at potencies by using particular kinds of, of dyes in solution which um, change their colour very subtly in relation to their environment. And we've gone from a situation where um, it's possible to, to see a sort of 1 to 2% change in, in the spectra of these compounds. That's looking at them with, with particular instruments that look at the, the, the way they absorb light. Um, and it's gone from 1 to 2% until now we're, we've got compounds which show a 7 to 8% and I'm hoping to go further than that and, and see a 15, maybe 20% change in the spectrum which would be an amazingly large change and I think um, beyond any doubt at that point that, that something's happening. So we've now got to the point after, after sort of six years of, of research and developing this system that if you brought two samples to me, one which was just ordinary water and one which was serially diluted and succus solution, um, we could tell the difference between those two samples. There is definitely something in the, the, the diluted and succus solutions um, which isn't present in, in uh, simple control water. And whatever that, that is, that's, that, I mean, well, let's call it X because we don't know what it is uh, as yet, but that, that X is responsible for the, the therapeutic activity of, of potencies. I mean, this doesn't mean that we have to tear up the chemistry textbooks and the physics textbooks. It's just going to open a new, a new, a new door, really, a new door into, into research and therapeutics and medicine. The major criticism of scientists and, and medics is that uh, homeopathy can't possibly work because there's nothing in there except water. But the experiments and, and uh, the system that we're developing shows conclusively that there is something else in there. Um, that it's reproducible, um, that we can detect it uh, on every occasion, it's consistent and um, we need to go further with it and find out exactly what it is.